The May 17, 2011 meeting of the Town of Cape Elizabeth Planning Board is called to order. The first item on our agenda is the minutes of our April 27th meeting. Anyone have any comments on the minutes? Nope. Motion? Eliza? Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? None. So that's five of us in favor, which is all of us tonight. The first substantive item on the agenda is Golden Ridge Subdivision Amendment. Golden Ridge LLC is requesting amendments to the previously approved Golden Ridge Subdivision to create another lot located at the end of Golden Ridge Lane in accordance with the subdivision amendment. And we will have a public hearing, but I'd first like to ask the applicant to make a presentation. Um, briefly describe the project, but mostly focus on what has changed since our last meeting. Thank you. And my name is John Mitchell, Mitchell Associates, and I represent uh, Golden Ridge Lane LLC. Uh, very briefly, the, the location uh, is off of Route 77. Uh, the site is outlined in red. Uh, it is approximately, the total acreage of the parcel consists of approximately 15 acres. Uh, it's in the RA zone. Most of it's in the RA zone. There are portions that are RP1 and RP2. An aerial survey shows that uh, almost the entire parcel is wooded. Uh, this is Golden Ridge Lane that extends from Route 77 up to the existing Young residence. This is a copy of the 2003 subdivision plan that was approved uh, showing a three lot subdivision. Uh, this is Golden Ridge Lane. Uh, lot one is three acres. Lot two consists of two acres. And lot three consists of 10, a little over 10 acres. And this is a copy of the uh, proposed amended subdivision plan showing the additional lot. So lot one and two remain as they were approved. Uh, the extension of Golden Ridge Lane occurs in this area right here. Lot three consists of a 1.87, uh, I believe, uh, 1.8 acre lot, minimum lot size. And lot four is a uh, six point, uh, I'm sorry, I can't, uh, oh, a, uh, yeah, 6.9 acre lot. Uh, so that's, that's briefly the, the proposal, um, the request that we're making uh, for an additional lot. Uh, I will review with the board at this point uh, the, the changes that have been made to the plan since the last, uh, pr since the last meeting um, and, and also uh, as of the site visit uh, uh, that you all attended. Uh, the first change, we added some additional notes to the plan to clarify uh, the, uh, the identification of the building envelope. And uh, one of the, the notes, uh, I'll just read, activities outside the building envelope restricted to the installation of driveways, utilities, and trails. So we, we were asked to put that note on the plan, and that's note number 14. Number two. Uh, Can I ask uh, you a question on yes. this? Yes. Were you reading literally from the note? Because my note 14 here is, is phrased slightly differently from what you did. That's correct. And uh, Maureen asked us to revise that note to what I just. Okay, so just we, is what read. you're reading from is an updated version of what we have in front of us. Right. Thank and you. the revised plan um, has been changed to read. 
note that I just read. Great, thank you. Uh, uh, the second change, uh, upon further evaluation, uh, we decided to maintain the existing hammerhead uh, within the Golden Ridge Lane roadway. Um, the reason for this basically was, initially we, had, we were proposing to convey it to Steve and Leslie Young. Um, it was decided uh, because we needed a CMP easement uh, from the utility pole, we decided to, at least at this point, to keep the, uh, the old hammerhead within the Golden Ridge Lane uh, roadway. Under landscaping, uh, we have added three additional uh, Colorado blue spruce. I guess uh, you, you discussed this at the site visit with Betsy. And uh, those three have been added. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to see, but we have added three additional uh, trees in this location here. Um, I did meet with Steve Young this afternoon. We discussed uh, the location of those trees. On your plans, it shows the additional trees placed in the middle um, of the road extension. However, he he preferred to have the trees closer to uh, the opening to his driveway, so we have revised the plan um, to show those trees in that location. Um, as well as adding a note uh, under the plant list that indicates location of trees shall be coordinated with site conditions to provide maximum visual screening. And the intent is to, when we're ready to plant the trees, is to get together with Steve and Leslie, go out and to locate the trees to, in order to maximize uh, the, the optimum sc screening. Quick question, weren't those trees originally gonna be where the hammerhead is now? Where you're preserving the hammerhead turnaround? Uh, we had a cluster of trees here. Okay. A cluster of trees here. Yeah. On your plans, the trees were added. Okay. Betsy added them here based on your discussions on the site visit. Gotcha. But uh, Steve and Leslie would prefer to have the trees in this location. Right, but but the, but the turnaround is going to be there, right? So you probably can't plant them there. This turnaround? Yeah. Well, that will no longer be a turnaround. The turn, oh, the like you said, you're preserving is, it. Is at the end. Okay, thanks. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were preserving the lower turn. No, we're just we're just uh, incorporating that land area within the the road right, right of way. Thank you. Believing. So you're going to plant the trees in the right of way. Yes. Great. In this case, they will be in the right of way. Okay. All right. Thanks. And, and the intent is to to fill in this area where the driveway is. Okay. Yep. Thank you. So you're proposing to take that hammerhead, I, I didn't hear you properly, you're proposing to take the first hammerhead out and only have one at the end? Yes, there, it, there won't be a need for this hammerhead here to, to maneuver vehicles in, because that hammerhead will be located at the end of the drive. But then I noticed that the, the end of the hammer is quite small by comparison to what it was on the original drawing. Well, the original drawing, I think you, uh, you uh, 82 feet, I think you added, or something like that. On this one here, you've got 40 feet. So yeah. you halved it into the hammerhead, uh, halved. We, we didn't do the original design for the, the hammerhead, but this hammerhead meets the town specs. Which it meets the town specs, then it meets the town specs. <laughs> and that the... Uh, um, uh, the fire brigade and the uh, fire tender can turn around in that hammerhead. The fire chief has reviewed the plans. Uh, number four under pedestrian easements. If you remember, we originally had a, a 15 foot wide pedestrian easement along the, uh, the northerly side of lot three. We have removed that pedestrian easement and we have added, uh, basically we removed it 
to improve the privacy of the residents of Lot 3. Um, the following bullet has to do with additional easements. And um, the way it's worded in our letter, uh, I think Betsy's understanding, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't here, but Betsy's understanding was that um, a pedestrian easement in this area would have impacted the wetlands. So um, she made the decision not to propose an easement. Uh, since then, I've had further discussions with Maureen as well as the applicant, Sheldon. And Sheldon is receptive to placing a 15-foot wide pedestrian trail easement in this location here, keeping it out of the wetlands. Um, however, he, uh, he's out of the country as well. and. Uh, he would like the opportunity to visit the site and review the location of the easement uh, to make sure that there is not an impact to this property, as well as to review the mockability of having an easement here. Um, so he has asked me to ask you if he could have the option of either putting this pedestrian easement in this location are paying the impact fee. Uh, he would like to reserve the right to decide after he visits the, the property. So I did place the, the location of the easement here just to illustrate. Um, again, it's, it's difficult to see, but it's... Zoom in, John. Excuse me? Can I zoom in? Can I zoom in? I don't know, can we? Yeah, you see at the top here, the right, it says zoom, 88%, right at the top there? Uh, let's see, let's see, yep. Can you change that 88 to something bigger? <coughs> and then you just scroll down a little. When you say pedestrian, would that be limited to pedestrian? Yes. And not snowmobiles? Correct. Yeah, no My snowmobiles. understanding from the site walk is that the current use now is primarily snowmobiles. Yeah, there wouldn't be snowmobile, snowmobiles allowed. Okay. Um, and then, oh, I'm sorry, that's a, that's a different plan here. here okay, there it is. So there's the location of the proposed 15-foot wide pedestrian trail easement. Um, that's not so given that the um, pedestrian easement begins on the private road, does that mean that the only people who could access no. that pedestrian e um, easement are the people who own land? No, if, if this road? were to occur, we would, we would uh, provide a public easement down the roadway. Oh, you would? Yeah. Okay, great, thanks. Because it, already there is a, there's, as you know, there's a trail that goes down, you know, the existing yeah. and terminates here. We would extend that to this point. Okay, great. How would you get to that, uh, to this, what do you call it, a pedestrian access easement on the top left-hand side of the, it sort of ends in the RA zone at the bottom and ends at the top of lot three. How do you get there? I mean, it, it sort of seems cut off to me. I'm not sure I understand you. There's a, there's a 15 foot wide pedestrian access easement at the top left hand side of the plan. Right here. Right How do you there. get on to it? Oh. Um, How do you access that? From? That is accessed I believe right here, if I'm correct, Maureen? Yeah, you've, you've got Ocean House Road. Right, right. Okay, and you can go and up then through you there? Can go that way. Okay. And then what he's talking about is giving more rights to go this way. Okay. And then, I mean, across country. Well, yeah, but I was wondering how you got to this one. I, I see it now. Okay. And so, you know, right now, there. there